Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. LCA Tejas Mark 1 is lightweight single engine multi role tactical fighter aircraft of 4 plus generation. It has been designed as an unstable tailless delta wing fighter to give it an unmatched mobility and agility. The static margin which is a measure of instability and mobility is best for Tejas among the current fighter jets. It is integrated with redundant quadruple digital fly-by-wire flight control system to recover stability and provide good handling qualities. The zero crash record of LC Tejas says how good its fly-by-wire flight control system is. The aircraft has also been outfitted with advanced autopilot features like auto level and auto navigation modes. This enables the fighter jet to perform safe altitude recovery that is automatically pulls the plane back up if it goes too low. Tejas is having more than 90% composite structures on its surface and 45% of its airframe by weight. The heavy use of composites not only reduces its radar cross section but also had decreased the aircraft weight by nearly 21%. Tejas is also certified to fly G force ranging from minus 3.5 to plus 8.0 at an altitude of up to 50,000 feet with 26 degree of angle of attack. It has also demonstrated instantaneous turn rate of approximately 30 degrees per second and a sustained turn rate between 15 and 16 degrees. It has also demonstrated a minimum turn radius of 350 meters. Now these statistics makes LCA Tejas a deadly opponent in air-to-air -air combat. Besides being an excellent fighter, LCA has been designed as a weapon delivery platform. It has been integrated with indigenous Russian, Israeli and Western weapons. As we all know that the Aero India Show 2023 is around the corner, the LC Tejas is all set to showcase its capabilities. In the recent pictures of LC Tejas shared by Review Vayu, we can see Tejas integrated with Astra Mark 1 BVI missile and Rafael's lightning targeting pod 4. Astra, as we all know, is 110 km range BVI missile, which is going to be the mainstay of fighter jet of Indian Air Force. The missile is undergoing integration with LC Tejas and has already undergone flutter and captive trials. LCA is also configured to carry short range thermal missile as well as long range beyond visual range missiles, and both of them are of world class. It is integrated with Russian R 73E missile with infrared homing system. The missile is developed to kill enemy highly agile and maneuverable, such as aircraft, in dogfights at a maximum range of 40 km. The R 73 homing device is fed with target designation data through pilot's HMD or EOTS sensor. In short range, Tejas is also integrated with MBDS SRAM. The missile has a range access of 25 km. LC Tejas is also integrated with Israel's IWER and Python 5 missile. In April 2021, IWER missile was first test fired from Tejas. India has purchased IWER missile from Israel in 2020 under emergency mode during Indo China standoff in Galavan Valley. The missile is a long range air to missile having an operational range of nearly 100 km with a maximum speed of Mach 4 and two way data link. Python 5 is the newest member of Israel Python family of short range air to missiles. At present, the integration of Astra Mark 1 is in progress with LC Tejas. Astra and MBDS SRAM's integration is expected to be complete before the delivery of Tejas Mark 1A which is scheduled by 2024. In summary, LC Tejas in its present configuration can be equipped with R73E, IWER and Python 5 missiles. In future, LC Tejas will be capable of firing Astra Mark 1 and MBDS SRAM. In a typical air combat, LC can carry two R73E or two Python 5 or four SRAM missiles at its two outer wing pylons. It can carry either four Derby or Astra Mark 1 or Mark 2 
for BVR engagement in its inner pylons next to the outer pylons. Now we'll talk about the standoff and precision strike capability of LCA. We have already seen LCA Tejas integrated with Israel's lightning laser designation pod. Now this pod features high resolution forward looking infrared sensors, laser ranging and designation in support of weapon delivery, navigational functions and recording and data link of generating imagery and data. It is currently operational with a wide variety of combat aircraft in Indian Air Force such as Mirage 2000, Su-30 MKI, MiG-29 UPG, Jaguars and LCA Tejas. Now these features simplify the functions of target detection and recognition and permit the attack of targets with precision guided weapons on a single pass. The air to ground weapon delivery accuracy of Tejas is also remarkable. The fighter jet has consistently achieved some of the highest scores of all Indian Air Force aircraft in flying tests and exercise. It can carry 250 kg, 450 kg dumb bombs and laser guided bombs guided by lightning laser designation pod. HAL is also in process of integrating hammer, JDAM and saw. Hammer is a medium range air to ground weapon which allows LCA to take out hardened bunkers or ground targets at standoff range of more than 70 km. JDAM will be used with 500, 1000 and 2000 pound bombs to improve the accuracy of unguided general purpose bombs in all weather condition. SAW, which is smart anti-airfield weapon, is long range precision guided anti-airfield weapon. This standoff weapon has engagement range of 100 km and capable of destroying enemy airfields, radars, bunkers, taxi trucks, runways and fuel depot. Once integrated with LCA Tejas, the aircraft will be able to carry 10 saw, 4 on each side and 2 in its belly. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.